Yeah. We have to talk about the fact that you are married to Paul Daniels. Yeah. Now, you have to tell me how you met, because it's a great story. How we met? I didn't know who he was. I lived out of the country for quite a long time. And uh, I got a job as a dancer on his show. And so I went home and said, oh, I've got a, a job with a guy called Paul Daniels. What does he do? And all my friends, mum and dad, Robert, said, oh, he's a magician. I thought, oh, God, I hate magic. I've just signed a contract for four months with a magician. But then uh, we met, first day of rehearsals, we're both very punctual. So we were sitting outside a horrible, grotty church hall in Shepherd's Bush in London um, early, and we got chatting, and that's how we met. And did, was there a spark straight away? Because he's considerably, I mean, he's about 20 years older than you. Yeah. So was there some kind of spark straight yeah. away? Yeah, actually, yeah? yes. But, I mean, he thought I was much too young. I was only 20. And uh, so uh, there was. We really got on. We've always got on well. He makes me laugh. So we, is that what you find sexy, is men who make you laugh, kind yeah. of do it for you? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And <laughs> you guys got involved, yeah. and Paul didn't want anyone to know because he was afraid that the press were going to accuse him of all kinds of horrible things and accuse you of all kinds of horrible well, he things. Was, he was more worried that the, the press would sort of, it was what, what effect it has on our families, mm -hmm. you know, if they say horrible things and she's a gold digger and things like that, you know, which Mrs. Merton said, but you didn't say. But, um, you know. No, I mean, th see, this is the neat thing, is that, the public have this perception of Paul Daniels that he is the most irritating man on television. Like, yeah. the most irritating man. Yeah. But not only do you want to spend all your time with him, yeah. but you only want to work with him. Yeah. You want to be with him all the time. You're yeah. totally besotted. He called you like 12 yeah. times since you came to the studio today. Yeah. You're t completely, <laughs> completely and utterly in love. Yeah, she's utterly. giving all my secrets away I'm sorry, here, I'm she? sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's really sweet. I mean, that's, yeah. and, and, you've, and you've been married for a long time now. No, I think Paul's one of those people that, um, you see, on television, especially when you do shows that he does, you become what the producer and director wants you to become. Mm -hmm. But in real life, he's much funnier and he's much softer. And when people meet him in real life, 99% of them say, hey, oh, we hated you on TV. But they get on well with him. And is he a sexy guy? Yes. Is he an animal? Yeah, tiger. Because, yeah, because <laughs> well, I read something where he said that, that uh, where you said that you couldn't keep up with him, or he said that you couldn't keep up with yeah, him, no, that he was such an animal, despite the fact that you're 20 years younger than him. Yeah. yeah he must be a, some animal. Some animal. A major animal. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. We, did we know this about Paul Daniels? I don't think so. You find something new at all the time. Now, you are a, a magician's assistant, and probably the most well-known magician's yeah. assistant in the yes. country, although you are a magician yourself, and you were the first woman ever invited to join the magic circle. Yeah, well, no, I wasn't invited to join. Uh, you had to, they had a, what it was, the magic circle was a men's club, and mm -hmm. for years and years they kept voting whether they should have women, and they kept voting not no, to have course. women. Right. So a few years ago, finally, women got the vote that they could join. Mm -hmm. But you had to apply and fill a form in and everything. But else. how do you, what do you, what kind of form do you fill in to say, no, I, I, I do magic, I swear? I mean, how do they know that you're actually a magician? Do you have to be uh, recognized by the public? Or? No, what you can do is, you, if you're interested in magic, you can join, and then um, after two years, you have to do like an audition, and you have to perform six tricks or something. Wow. But I didn't have to do that because uh, they didn't. Oh, you things. had inside, you had yeah. like, it, oh, I don't know if that's fair. Mm -hmm. I think I might, we might send no, you no, back to magic not, school no, and no, make no, you no, audition like everybody it, else. It's not inside information, it's... Um, <laughs> Because I no, because I performed it on TV, uh, they took they that They could see already that you knew audition. how to do your thing. Yeah. All right. Now, you, you started out as a dancer, yeah. and you were actually considered a very, very fine dancer as well. Thank you. Oh, and, someone's been talking and to you. Then, yeah, no, I have no... Yeah, uh, yeah. Everything, everything that we read about yeah. you, everyone said that you were... Debbie McGee was a very fine, very talented dancer. Yeah. And when you met Paul, you kind of gave up the dancing thing and got into the magician's assistant thing. Yeah. And I read that you were... Also, you were offered um, one of the lead roles in Chorus Line, and you turned it down because you wouldn't be able to be with Paul. Well, yes, I've been offered a few things um, in the lot since I've been married. But before I married Paul, I still carried on dancing, and I worked with the second generation and with ABBA on tour in mm -hmm. Europe and different and people like that. Fun. It was great, and Christopher and people like that. And then um, what happened was I was. On the magic show, I became a bit more than a magician, and mm -hmm. I had my own fan club and things, and they were asking, can we see more of Debbie? <laughs> and I was working more and more with Paul, and I kept getting dancing jobs, and they were conflicting, mm -hmm. and my agent would get cross and say, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be one so of the big picks, right, one or the other, it's the dancing or the magic. So that's when I went completely with the magic, and also mm -hmm. because I was happy being with Paul. So, um, And then when I got married, I decided, I did a job before I got married where I was away for two months, 
and, and you were not happy. And that made me decide that every night I was doing great shows, but I went back to a lonely hotel room. <laughs> oh, bless. And I decided then I wouldn't take the chorus line would have meant going on tour for six months this year, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't Too long want away. to go away for six yes, months. Yes. yes. Tell me, what does it take to be a good magician's assistant? What does it take? What are the qualities you need? Well, you know, that's a question I think you should ask Paul or a magician. But what I've been told is dancers make good magician's assistants because they stand well and they're used to theatre and show business training where someone who hasn't had that training might not know that, you know, if the audience, which you're not aware of this, but, you know, when you're applauding, say, say Leslie was doing a trick, well, if... Very bloody unlikely, <laughs> by the way. As an assistant, if the audience are performing at the end of the trick and they start applauding, rather, um, I would stay still mm -hmm. and I don't move until the applause starts to die down because if I start to move, they think, oh, something else is going to happen and stop clapping. Okay, we're going to do an experiment. Come with okay. me, come with me. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, come I'll with see me. you later, come with me. Don't worry, you'll be all right. Okay. <laughs> Angus? Yes. Oh, yes. Hey, Debbie. Debbie Angus. Hi, Hi Debbie. Good yeah, to see you again. We're just Debbie. backstage. Yeah. Yes, indeed. First thing we're going to do is... I go on the outside is, here. No, come on, come on, come yeah. in the middle oh. with us. Um, Angus is going to do a little trick. Oh, yeah. And I am going to assist him. Hmm. And you have to critique me. Okay? Right. So first thing is we're going to learn how to be a good magician's assistant. So, okay. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Then, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Angus. Leslie, do you have a silk for me, please? Help me out. Yeah, you come on. Wait, wait. Is there anywhere on your person that you might have some silk? Well, seeing as I am a magician's assistant, I just happen to have one here. Oh, oh yes, we all have those tacks down there. How is that? How is she doing so far? I say. Okay. Leslie, I could what lose are we doing? my. What are I we could doing? lose my job. <laughs> it's so wonderful. I'm sorry, thank you. Hey, am I doing well? Help, Paul. We take a silk. Do I stand okay. In? Silk is there, Leslie? Yes. Okay. And do you have a magic blow? Oh, I have the most magic of blows, baby. You uh, just don't even go there. Well, blow ah. that. Has it worked? No, it has. Not. Oh, now that is pretty special. <laughs> How is it? Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing fingers. However, I wouldn't like Leslie to go away empty-handed because I'm sure this item of apparel you must need at some stage in the future. Okay, so there you are. We'll let you put it back. <laughs> Leslie Elm, ladies and gentlemen, a magician's assistant, eh? Okay. Yes, a multi-talented Angus. Hey, Angus.